Happy New Year and Merry Christmas! My last winter holidays 2022-2023. The text and the tasks. My last winter holidays were not so typical as usually. It's because of the situation in the country. I had to spend my Christmas holidays not at home. It's a pity. Of course, my family wanted to have some kind of Christmas atmosphere in the place we were staying at. We couldn't let ourselves the New Year tree, but we came to the better decision of the problem, I think. We bought the battery-operated garland. It was rather difficult to find it in any shop, by the way. They were in demand those days because of frequent blackouts. Getting the battery-operated garland you can use it both as the source of light and the way of having New Year or Christmas winter mood at the same time. So we did. Besides, we bought some tangerines and candles in the supermarket. I associate tangerines with Christmas more than any other fruit or festive food. I like them very much. This year we were waiting for the president's speech more than ever. And it was great with video in the background. It was touching and inspiring. Let all his words come true. As to my holidays, I can't say surely that I liked them. Anyway, I tried to spend my time wisely as much as it's possible. I read some books on psychology and discussed them with my family. When there was the internet connection, I improved my skills in the IT sphere watching useful videos on YouTube. The weather during these winter holidays was not very frosty. It was mostly windy and cool, but there were also nice snowy days, which gave us the possibility to go outside not only for shopping. We played snowballs, made a snowman and glided on the slippery ice. The air was fresh and frosty and I enjoyed breathing it. In the evenings we phoned to our relatives who were living in the other remote places because of the situation. During my holidays, not having lessons, I had more time to think over life, about relationships. I changed my values, my attitude to some people and their actions, and I've come to some conclusions. Life is the most precious and the most necessary great gift, isn't it? We need to protect our health and lives as well as our close peoples. We can lose things and even home. We can put everything we need in one bag. Unfortunately, we've faced it. But nobody can take away our knowledge and skills. So I will study well and become the professional in the field of activity I 
like. Now, let's do the tasks. Task 1. Find the equivalence according to the text. 1. Christmas holidays. 2. To go outside. 3. I changed my values. 4. The battery operated garland. 5. To protect our health and lives. 6. The source of light. 7. The president's speech. 8. Knowledge and skills. A. Гірлянда на батарейках. B. Я змінив цінності. C. Джерело світла. D. Різдвяні канікули. E. Промова президента. F. Виходити на вулицю. G. Знання і навички. H. Захищати наше здоров'я і життя. Task 2. Answer the questions according to the text. There will be eight questions. The first. Why were the author's winter holidays not so typical? The second. How did the author create the Christmas atmosphere? The third. The president's speech was great, wasn't it? The fourth. What did the author do during the holidays? What about you? The fifth. What was the weather like during these winter holidays? The sixth. The author changed his values, the attitude to some people and their actions. Didn't he? What about you? The seventh. What can't be taken away by the author's opinion? Do you agree with him? The eighth, did you like your last winter holidays? That's all. Learn English. Take care of yourself and your relatives. Peace and love to you. Sincerely yours, Alessi Manink. Bye for now.